guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Anna and I'm a little bit spooky and I'm very, very cold today. <laughs> We're in the middle of the tundra, arctic hurricane apparently, I don't know. Somebody just explained this to me in hurricane terms so I know what the hell is going on. Anyway, we're also, <laughs> aside from keeping myself occupied and not focusing on the freezing cold snowstorm that is currently happening in central Louisiana, boy 2021, she, she, she told 2020 to hold her beer. She's coming in hot or coming in cold. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Ooh, weather has been something. Anyways, so we are wear testing the NYX Marshmallow Primer today. And we're going to go over all the claims. I'm going to show you a demo of how it looks on my skin and how it applies. We're going to talk about everything in detail. And I'm going to wear this primer as long as I can because, girl, I ain't getting no sleep tonight or in the morning because basically we're having a frozen hurricane so <laughs> we'll probably try to have this on for at least 10 hours the primer claims to uh, to help your makeup last for a full 16 hours i don't know if i'll be up 16 hours because by the time i think my husband's gonna get home from work whenever he makes it home in this storm uh, the roads are currently closed so he's probably gonna be there until the roads open again and can get home safely I will probably be awake, so yeah, <laughs> and worrying. Uh, ooh, anxiety is on one this morning. So yeah, we're gonna wear this a long time. We're gonna see how it holds up, and yeah. So if that interests you, and you wanna know if the marshmallow primer from NYX is worth the hype and the price point, just go ahead and keep on watching. I'm wound the fuck up. What is wrong with me? This primer real quick. We are playing with the NYX marshmallow primer and we're gonna wear test it and see how it performs throughout the day and performs as well as some of my other favorite primers namely the l'oreal magic perfecting base i know i did a first impression with this the other day but i didn't really go into a whole lot of detail this is very like whipped and moussey and has a very very candy lip smacker smell it almost seems like there's a little bit of a sheen in it when i look at it like there's a a radiance to it just very very subtly but yeah, we're gonna apply this to the face and work it in I really really do like the way this feels on the skin it doesn't feel silicone -y. it feels almost more like a moisturizer it feels really good and it really does I feel like evens things out like texture wise without having that heavy silicone feel and it does kind of give the skin a little bit of luminosity Oh, it's, it's pretty nice. It is a pretty nice primer and I think uh, it might just be worth the hype. <laughs> and then we will go over the claims and everything in just a moment. I just want to go ahead and get it on and show you how it disappears into the skin. It feels like almost like a moisturizer going on. It, it's a very enjoyable feeling product and it's doing something. Like I can't quite put my finger on what it's doing but it's doing something really nice to my skin. But you said it gives it like a slight glow. I think that's what I like about it. It's like a very thin version of the perfecting base from L'Oreal that I love so much. It's just a really, really, really nice formula. It feels moisturizing. It feels like it's doing something good. And I've used it a few times now, and I think it does wear really well. But we're going to pay attention today and put it to the test and see for sure. It looks really nice, doesn't it? And I don't know really if it's like blurring pores that much, so let me get in here. It does somewhat blur the skin and kind of fill in the texture a little bit and just smooth things out but it doesn't look heavy at all. It doesn't look mattifying or anything which a lot of these types of you know pore filling primers can be very mattifying. This one's not. This one looks really really just skin like and healthy while giving you some really nice benefits. It's not an extreme product like it you know you're not gonna look put it on and be like whoa where'd my pores go? But it does something really good and I think it, it just feels really nice on the skin. It feels like so lightweight and that is a definite plus to me because I am used to a little bit more heavy primers because I prefer I want my pores to basically disappear. So this one I think would honestly do well in conjunction maybe with if you want some more intense pore feeling, filling like with something like the L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base to go in just where you need it like where the pores are the most prominent. But this one wears just really good all over the face and I don't feel like I need any more like pore filling honestly for more just a casual kind of everyday vibe. I think it looks really nice 
if I was doing like full glam, I would still go in the L'Oreal one if I wanted to just be absolutely perfected. So anyway, let's go pull up some of these claims here and see what the deal is with this foundation or with this uh, primer, huh? All right, so let's look at some of these claims here because my God, there is so many fucking claims for this primer. It is insane, but this is called the Marshmallow Smoothing Primer. So it's meant to smooth the skin, which now that it has set on the skin, it kind of sinks in. It still has a little bit of radiance, but it does feel like it has kind of minimized the look of my pores. The, yeah, now that it's kind of hung out on the skin, the texture does look quite quite a bit smoother. So that is, that's really nice. I mean, it's not super dramatic, but it is doing something, and I, I can't fault it for that. I'm, I'm happy with it. Anyways, I have the sample size here, which is retails for $8. You can get the full size for around $17. Don't pay full price. Get this on sale. You can find it on drug at the drugstore, Ulta, whatever. Catch a sale because I think $17 is a bit much for a drugstore face primer. NYX has been steadily raising their prices. I don't know what's got into them, who they think they are, but they are marking their stuff up these days. Anyways, let's get into these claims. It's the Marshmallow Effect 10-in-1 Multitasking Primer infused with smoothing marshmallow root extract. So I think that is what the fragrance is because uh, root marshmallow root is a kind of fragranced they, it naturally has a sweet smell and I don't know if they probably maybe added some fragrance to this to give it a very almost because it doesn't smell real it smells a little bit fake like Bonnie Bell lip smackers but I do know that root X the marshmallow root extract can give stuff a sweet smell it is a soft whipped texture this primer dries down totally transparent and works on all skin tones because it does look kind of white lavender ish when you decant it onto your hand but yeah 10 and 1 benefits now I will say this I think these benefits they list can be quite redundant like they basically mean the same thing they've just found different ways to phrase it but that's marketing that is that's, that's how marketing works okay so 10 and 1 benefits this primer smooths softens and extends makeup wear for 16 hours I don't know if we're gonna get 16 hours in today but we're gonna try to get at least 10 <laughs> But yeah, my skin does feel smooth. It does feel softened. It feels like I applied, like this had skincare in it. I have, of course, done my skincare a few, uh, a couple of hours ago at this point. But anyways, Sue's even skin tone minimizes texture, blurs lines, adds a soft focus finish, and keeps makeup fresh. So to me, uh, it being the 16 hours and keeping makeup fresh kind of basically means the same thing. Blurring lines, adding the soft focus, minimizing texture. <laughs> that all just kind of falls under smoothing to me. So I think that can be a little bit redundant there. But it does kind of have a soft focus look. It's not the most soft focus look primer I've used because I'm comparing it to the L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base, which basically erases texture from your skin. <laughs> like it is face tune in a jar. Like it's like using the smoothing tool on your face. Um this one does do that, but to just a lesser extent, but still good. So if you found that like that one to be too heavy, because it is kind of heavy, this is a much nicer lightweight option. I do think it did kind of blur lines a little bit and minimize texture for sure. I don't know if it really evens out my skin tone because it doesn't really have any like color to it. And I have a lot of freckles and discoloration on my face. I have a lot of redness, so I don't really think it did much for that and I wouldn't expect it to because that's what the foundation does. But yeah, there's a 100% vegan formula, which is great. No uh, silicones, also fantastic. That is not something you see every day in a primer. A lot of them are dimethicone based or silicone based. And those are the ones I tend to prefer because I want that pore filling. <laughs> I want to look like, um, a porcelain doll basically like my skin is made of porcelain there's also some um they did a little test with it a consumer study we have 100 percent agree that the primer creates a smooth canvas for easy makeup application i would say it did create a pretty smooth canvas and i still like that there's a glow to my skin i, I have to point that out that it doesn't look matte or dry it's so one thing i do find with the l'oreal magic perfecting base is that it can look a little too more matte than i would prefer 
and it can be a little drying in these more like wintertime months right now. 99% agree that skin looks softer after four days. I have not used this consistently enough as I would say skincare to speak to that claim. And 98% agree their skin looks smoother after four days. So obviously I think the marshmallow root in here does have skincare benefits. I have heard that before and heard talk of this ingredient and I do think it does have long-term effects on the skin so that's nice that this is skincare infused. I don't use it every single day though. There's I'm, I'm not putting makeup on every single day of my life. 99% or overall satisfaction over satisfaction. I, I think that's a typo there but yeah I would agree I'm pretty satisfied with the way this looks on my skin without foundation so we will will be putting on a trusty foundation that I know I absolutely love and see how it goes and one that I know wears pretty well and kind of am very familiar with. I'm probably gonna use the uh, Bare Minerals Original Liquid Foundation because that's just one of my absolute favorites. It says here, pro tip, use the marshmallow blending sponge to apply the product for the smoothest, softest complexion. I don't apply primers with a sponge. I don't really think many people do unless you're possibly working on a client as a makeup artist. I have done that occasionally but I still think fingers are the best method to really press a product into the skin. I think that is pure uh, marketing on that about, you know, just trying to sell the sponge to go with it. I don't think you need the sponge. I don't think it's gonna do anything. It's just a beauty blender that looks like a marshmallow. It's cute, it is very cute, but I don't think it's uh, necessary. But anyways, this is a cruelty and free and vegan product. It's got great reviews, it looks like here. Yeah, it's got five and a half stars, a 4.5, Pretty damn good reviews. Um, there's one, well, we got four one-star reviews and five two-star reviews, 28 three-star reviews, and the rest of them are all four and fives and are pretty damn positive. So, okay. All right, cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my foundation on, but I'm gonna give you a little bit of a close-up of the skin. I'm gonna try to get in here so you can see how things are looking. But, you know, I think it does look pretty perfected as one could expect from a primer. I mean, it's not, it's pretty good. I think the more it like kind of settled onto the skin, it looks better than right after the initial application. I feel like this is one that needs to have a minute to soak in and work its magic. And I don't think that's always true for every single primer, but this one is definitely one that, that does benefit from uh, giving it a couple of minutes. Yeah, it feels just vaguely tacky on the skin, but not not like grippy or anything, but it feels, has a nice tackiness, but not overly so. It doesn't feel gross. So I think that will hold on to makeup pretty well. And yeah, I'm so far so good. I'm gonna do my foundation and powder, set everything down, and we'll be back in just a moment to give some thoughts and then we will conduct our wear test. I just finished my foundation. Haven't powdered or done concealer or anything. I just want to show you what it looks like. Just over the, or just the primer and the foundation. I think it looks really good. Admittedly, I'm obsessed with this Bare Minerals foundation. I think it looks beautiful on its own without primer. Very rare that I will say that about a product, but it looks good regardless. But anyways, I think things are looking really nice so far. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my concealer powder and all that and we'll see you I'll see you guys in just a little bit. Here's the makeup all complete after we use the uh, NYX marshmallow primer. I think my skin looks absolutely fantastic. Pretty awesome. Used all my usual products. I will have them listed below and yeah things looks pretty dang good so far. So what I'm gonna do is keep this on for quite a few hours. I've got a long night and morning ahead of me. We're in the middle of a huge arctic snowstorm blizzard madness. Somebody please explain this to me in hurricane terms so I know what the hell is going on. All I know is it's damn cold and there is snow and ice and it's bad. Anyway, <laughs> is this a category four? Like what? I, I don't know. Are we in the cone yet? I, I just don't know anymore. Anyways, so let's uh wrap this up about the primer. I think it looks absolutely great. I am going to have it on for quite some time because I am not going to be able to sleep and I'm going to be up for 
a good while until the storm blows over and my husband can get home from work because currently every single road is closed. The entire state of Louisiana is fully shut down, but my husband has to work because and so I'm, I'm definitely going to be up a very long time until he makes it home. So we have a good wear test ahead of us. <laughs> it is so, so cold. Oh my goodness. It is uh, below 20 currently. Below 20 degrees and it's going to get down lower. Like uh, I think I saw one prediction showed 9 degrees. What the actual fuck. Anyway, I'll check in later and we will see how this is holding up. And if the longevity is increased by this little primer business but so far i think the primer's pretty dang good okay let's check in or we'll only check in really because i'm definitely not going to make it to a 10 hour mark but it has been nine hours no eight hours it's been eight hours and i'm currently standing in front of the snowy outdoors that is the lighting you're getting is the lovely snow bouncing back on my face but yeah everything held up as it usually does pretty good lipstick's a little worse for wear because i ate some chili and my eyes are watering because it's cold when i'm outside and i might have gotten in the snow a little bit i had to go play in the snow so but otherwise i don't think the primer necessarily affected anything why is this right here like cakey spot but anyway I don't think the, the primer necessarily increased the longevity or anything or hurt the longevity. It's just wearing like the foundation normally wears. It's the uh, Bare Minerals <sighs> Original Fluid Foundation. I, I didn't even bother looking in the mirror at my lipstick. But here's a close up. I got like some dry skin right there, but close up way things are looking at the moment. So, yeah, that is all for today thanks for hanging out with me and i will see you guys in the next one stay safe and stay spooky stay warm